Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. I was asked by one of my followers if I could turn the Easy Elephant applique head into a granny square. So here it is. The size is 14 centimetres square, which is five and a half inches square. I'm using eight ply yarn, which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I'll be using the grey and the white for the elephant and you could use any contrast but I'm using green for the outside of the square. I've got a 4.5 millimetre crochet hook sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. I've got black thread to embroider on the eyes and the trunk markings a darning needle to weave in the ends and scissors. Now we're going to start in the centre of the circle which is the elephant's head. I've got my grey and we start with a magic loop. You could start with four chain if you'd prefer and join to make a circle. To make the magic loop I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And then we work two chain. The two chain doesn't count as a stitch. Then we work 12 double crochet into the circle. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. We need 11 more double crochet into our circle. And that's the 12 double crochet. We pull the circle tight now so we take hold of this tail and just ease the circle in and join with a slip stitch in top of the first stitch, not the chain, this first stitch here. We put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. For row 2 we start with 2 chain that doesn't count as a stitch either and we work two double crochet into that first stitch and then two double crochet into each stitch around we'll have 24 stitches
and that's my 24 stitches. We join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row 3 we start with 2 chain. We work 1 double crochet in the same stitch as our chain and 1 double crochet into the next stitch. Then we work 2 double crochet into the following stitch. And we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch right away the, around. And we're going to have 32 stitches by the end. We need to make sure we do have 32 stitches. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two double crochet into the following stitch. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two double crochet into the following stitch. And repeat that right around. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch and just continue like that right around And we should finish with two double crochet into the last stitch. Then we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the centre circle part of our granny square done. I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the green and we'll work around the granny square. For the outside of the circle we join our contrast to any stitch. I like to join just after the join there. And we start with three chain. That does count as a stitch this time. We work one double crochet in the same stitch as our join and then we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. So one half double crochet into the next stitch as well. And then we work one single crochet into each of the following three stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. 
For a single crochet, put your hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. So we needed a single crochet into the next two stitches as well. So we've got our chain and our double crochet, then two half double crochet and three single crochet. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And that's our first side done. Now we're going to work a corner. We work two double crochet into the next stitch. Then two chain and two double crochet into that same stitch. That's our first full corner worked. And this, the two at the beginning, was half a corner. Now we're going to start on the second side. We work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to start working into the back loop only for the next five stitches so we can join the ears to the front loop. So we work one single crochet into the back loop only of each of the next two stitches. This is the front loop here and this is the back loop. So one single crochet into each of the next two stitches in the back loop only. And then one half double crochet into the back loop only of each of the next two stitches. And then we're going to work another corner stitch into the back loop only. So two double crochet into the back loop only. Then two chain and two double crochet into the back loop only of that same stitch. Now we've got five stitches that are worked into the back loop only there. Now we're going to work the next side into both loops. So we work one half double crochet into both loops of the next two stitches. And then one single crochet into both loops of the next three stitches. And one half double crochet into both loops of the next two stitches. Now we're starting for the second ear, so the next five stitches we're working into the back loop only. We're going to work a corner now, so we work two double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. Then work two chain and two double crochet into the back loop only of that same stitch. Then work one half double crochet into the back loop only of each of the next two stitches. And one single crochet into the back loop only of the following two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into both loops of the next stitch and then 
one half double crochet into both loops of the last two stitches. Now we're going to finish our corner stitch. So we work two double crochet into the first stitch work, the same stitch as our chain and first double crochet. And then work one chain and work one single crochet into the top of the three chains. So in that third chain there, just work a single crochet. And that's the first row done. We've got the front loops left for the two ears. For row two, we start with three chain and we work one double crochet in that loop next to our chain. So on top of the single crochet, just like that. And then we work one double crochet into the top of the three chain where we joined and then we'll work one double crochet in each stitch along the side. Into the corner loop we work two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet. And then work one double crochet into each stitch along the next side. And into the corner loop we work two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet. Then one double crochet in each stitch along the side. Into the corner we work two double crochet, 
two chain and two double crochet. Then one double crochet in each stitch along the last side. And then we work two double crochet into the last corner, one chain and one single crochet into the third chain and that's row two done. Then for the last row we work three chain and one double crochet in next to our chain in the loop and then a double crochet in the join on the top of the three chain and then one double crochet in each stitch along the side Work two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet into the corner. Then one double crochet in each stitch along the side. Work two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet into the corner. Then one double crochet in each stitch along the side.
work two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet in the corner and one double crochet into each stitch along the side Into our last corner we work two double crochet. If we were going to work another row, we'd work one chain and work a single crochet into the top of the third chain. But And then we'd just keep working like we have been. But if we're finishing off, we'd work two chain and slip stitch in the top of the third chain and pass them off. And that's the granny square done. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back with the grey and we'll work the ears. The ears are both work the same. You join in the first stitch of the front loop left. We've got the five across there. Now, I don't like weaving in ends much, so I'm going to leave probably about a metre of yarn at the beginning, and I'm going to use that as my, for my neatening row. So... I'll join in the fifth, the first one there. And I work one chain. We leave the yarn on the side there. We'll work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join one half double crochet into the next stitch in the front loop there and then three double crochet into the following one, the middle one there one half double crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the last of the front loops we left on that side. And that's row one of the year. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch. And then two half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. So two half double crochet into each stitch until we've got one left. I've got one stitch left, we work one single crochet into that last stitch and then fasten off. I'm 
and that's the ear done for the neatening row I'm going to bring this yarn through that stitch at the bottom there just like that you don't have to it just secures it a bit more and then we work one single crochet up the side of the ear into each stitch and then in the corner stitch I'm going to work two single crochet and then one single crochet in each stitch across the top of the ear to the last stitch into the last stitch I'll work two single crochet and then work one single crochet in each of the couple of stitches down the side and then I'll pull the yarn through the stitch at the bottom there and fasten off that just secures it a tiny bit more and that's the first ear done. For the second ear I'll leave about a metre again at the edge and join in the first stitch just under the corner there and work one chain. I leave the long tail at this edge and we work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, three double crochet into the middle stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the last of the stitches worked into the back. Then we work one chain and turn and then for row two we work one single crochet into the first stitch and then two half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and one single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off. For the neatening row I just slip the tail in through a stitch at the bottom just to secure it a bit more and then work one single crochet into each stitch up the side into the corner stitch we work two single crochet then one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch along the top
work two single crochet into the last stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch down the side and then I just secure it at the bottom to a couple of stitches and fasten off. And that's the square with the ears. Now for the trunk I've still got the grey and we start with six chain For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the last five chain. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined or a decrease single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we work one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined or decreased single crochet over the last two stitches, the same as we did at the beginning of the row. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first over the two stitches sorry and then we work six chain for row 7 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the last five chain And then we turn the top part around and slip stitch in the top of the stitch from row 6. And that's the trunk done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we're going to work a slip stitch in each stitch around. If you want your trunk to bend, I'll bend mine this way this time. So. I'll either miss a stitch in the middle there or I'll work a joined slip stitch. Now for a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. A slip stitch keeps your work finer than if you were working a single crochet in each stitch around. For neatening rows it's 
can be a lot easier if you use a finer hook than for your normal work. Now to make my trunk bend this way, I bring through a loop in one stitch and then I go to the next stitch and bring through a loop and take it through all the loops and that will just make my trunk bend in a bit and then I work a slip stitch in each stitch down to the end of the trunk. Once I get to the end of the trunk, I'm going to work three chain quite tightly, slip stitch in the middle of the end of the trunk, and then work three chain quite tightly again, and then slip stitch in the other side of the trunk and fasten off. And that's the trunk. If you wanted it to bend the other way, you'd work your join slip stitch on this other side. Now for the first task, I've got my white and we start with five chain. We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and one half double crochet into the last chain. And fasten off. the second task we start with six chain we work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook one single crochet into each of the next two chain and slip stitch into the last chain and fasten off. And that's the second tusk. They bend in a different direction. Now that's all the pieces worked. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back to put it together. There's my pieces. I've got the granny square, the trunk and the tusks. The first thing I'll do is embroider these black markings across the top of the trunk. I've got three rows, so just across about there. The next things to do is to attach the trunk. It goes towards the top of the middle circle there. So in about there, I don't stitch it all the way down, I stitch about to there where it bends. So just up around there. And I'll also embroider the two black eyes on, just above the trunk. 
The last thing we do is attach the tusks. Just each side of the trunk there. They go slightly over the edge of the circle there. So I'll put them on and I'll be back to show you the finished granny square. And there's the finished elephant granny square. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.